Today I will show you a great way to create your own music without knowing any music theory at all. Anyone can be a musician and AI can be a great tool for that. And you're still gonna have creative freedom and control of the process. The AI is not simply just gonna replace you. And the developer calls this ethical AI as they want to create a tool that empowers you to create music. It doesn't just give you finished songs. It's more about giving you a seed to creating something amazing. So let's look at that. Oh, and by the way, do you know what Beethoven is doing now? Decomposing. AI. So first of all, you're gonna need a DAW, a DAW that uh, kind of controls your music creation process. I'm in Ableton right now, and uh, there's a free version of that that you can use. There are some paid options as well, but um, you can stick with the free for now. You have GarageBand for Mac available, and there's also FL Studio that some people like. But for now, we're in Ableton, and I have prepared just a loop of a drum beat here. So we're gonna play with this today. I'm gonna to add some some uh, some music to this. And I have these huge headphones on as well, so that the sound that uh, you're hearing is not gonna be captured into the microphone and just you know loop it back for a noisy echo. We don't want that. Now the program that we are gonna be looking at today is Seeds by Lemonade, and it's an AI tool that uh, can give you well a musical seed. So it actually gives you. MIDI keys for you to play with. So it can give you like chords, a melody, or combine them. And you can just drag and drop them into your DAW and then, you know, change what instrument you want for that. So let's say here, for example, that we want something in a minor key. We want it A, we want the melody and the chords here. Then we can just press get seeds. And, and now the AI generates like examples of, of music for us, as you can see here. and. As it's AI generated, it's a little random. So it can be good, it can be less good. But as it's based on, on music theory, it's like chord progressions and um, how music you know, should sound. Well, not how music should sound, but how notes and tones and chords you know, fit together. They kind of make up you know, some, some good stuff here. That's pretty nice. Let's uh, listen to some of the others. So as we're in the minor chord here, we'll be getting some, you know, sad vibes. So let's take uh, the one we had here, the wide and flaky one. So if you look here, you can actually see that we have all the the notes that it's playing. You can listen in in, uh, in a piano instrument. You can also play it in a flute here. Uh, that's of less importance as we're going to be changing that in Ableton. You can also add your own uh, notes just by pressing here. But what we're going to do is is we're going to get this into our DAW, and we do that by pressing the little plus button here, which will add this to our library. We we'll go in here, so we have this one here wide. I'm just gonna take that and drag and drop here into our um, DAW. If we play this here, together with our drums, you can hear it's a pretty sweet track. You can use your own um, instruments here. I like this. I'm using instruments from uh, from native instruments, but you can use whatever. It doesn't doesn't really matter. So I think this sounds pretty cool. Let's try something else. So let's go back into our uh, seeds here, and let's go discovery here. You can also also do like uh, chords only and and melody only. So if you, for example, if you take chords only here. I change the majors to major C, and it says here your changes will not be saved. Everything in library here will be saved, but the generated images, or not the images, generated sounds here will not be saved. So here's a chord progression. So what you could do here when you have this uh, chord progression in, uh, let's say C C major here, uh, you could do you could do Google and just Google C pentatonic scale 
piano then you get the notes there on its scale in this case it's uh, c d e g a c uh, if you have a midi keyboard you could just you know play that you can also input them into uh, either seeds here so you can see there's a c for example you can see all the notes here uh, and if you are in ableton you can see here on the left once you scroll over here you can see what what note that is but let's say for example that we would be playing this chord progression here and whatever you play in the the c pentatonic scale now will sound you know kind of okay so that would just be you know playing whatever uh, it doesn't really matter as long as you stick with the same scale you're going to get a, a pretty consistent result so you can take out like the chords or a melody and and do stuff by yourself or like we did in in, in the first example uh, the melody and the chords so let's try uh, and do a different one here both of them in the c see if we can get some cool ones The staccato vibes there. That's pretty nice. That's cool. I like this. It's fire. So let's plus that. Let's go into library and we're gonna drag that. We're just gonna duplicate this. We're stopping the previous one. Dragging that in here and playing that instead. we need to make that a little shorter four bars so to restart yeah so that's really nice let's see if we can uh, get some other instrument in here Nice, I like this. So from this seeds, you have from this you have a musical seed that you can adapt and, and improve on. Uh, for now, this is just a uh, well a loop, but uh, pretty good loop, I have to say. So you know me coming from uh, a creative background and doing a lot of art or generative AI art, a lot of the stuff is is ready made. And and when it comes to music, I'm happy to be able to do some of the to have some of the creative control, you know? Uh, just to have a, a perfectly finished song straight from the AI doesn't really be, give me anything. And that's why I enjoy this process where I can get like, the MIDI keys and then play with the sounds myself. So this has been uh, honestly a, a great fun to play with. And uh, MJ who's been creating this, uh, it's been a great support in, in showing me this tool and, uh, and sponsoring this video. So great shout out to MJ and the team at Seeds and Lemonade. Very cool tool. So go check that out for sure. And for full transparency's sake, uh, the instruments that I have been using here, native instruments, uh, they were giving to me for free, but there were no compensation there. I've been having them for, for a very long time, just you know, playing with them as I create some some music i don't really create music to do anything with it i just create music to you know enjoy myself and you know have a beat in the background when i'm working or just need some time to relax play with you know let the the kids play with some music this is a great fun so if you want to learn more about seeds by lemonade check out their webpage there's some great info there you can also download the tool here and there's a video demonstration by uh, creator MJ. Again, great dude. And there's some examples here uh, as well. Uh, and like I uh, talked about a little previously, they are artist focused with uh, an ethical AI. We can actually stop here. It says, uh, we are artists first, which means we care about art more than technology. So they just want to provide a tool where you can have your creative freedom intact. And this is tool for producers or people that want to create music but don't necessarily have all the knowledge to do so but but, but then again um, for someone that has all the knowledge and knows you know about the chord progressions and everything this is just a tool a time-saving tool really and all the data that these models have been trained from 
are are trained with consent from from the trading data so there is no data randomly scraped from the web like some of the other tools out there now i gotta tell you this isn't entirely free there is a free trial but if you want to keep using this in the long run uh, it's actually from 4.99 a month uh, it refills every month so i've never actually reached the limit of the light version and whatever you generate from this is 100 percent royalty free so use it in your own music creations wherever you want to have them again Thank you, MJ and the team at Lemonade. I surely had fun playing with this tool or I wouldn't do the video with them. As always, have a good one. See ya.